Hey, y'all, good morning, good morning, good morning from Apple Country. And you know, there's a song about Apple Country and it says, Welcome to Ella J. Well, I'm going to just welcome y'all to everywhere we serve from Ball Ground to Turtle Town. Ball Ground this weekend is going to be rocking because Ball Ground Rocks is going to have, we're going to have a festival on Saturday all day long and it's going to start early on Saturday and go through the day, through the night, some concerts, some music, some food, some fun, some crafts, stuff. We will want to welcome you to an open house at our office. We're going to be having some apples from Ella J. So stop by and get yourself an apple from Ella J. We're going to be telling you a little bit about all the apple orchards. We're going to tell you that 30 minutes from ball ground are the best apples you ever put in your mouth, and that's in Ella J, Georgia. So we're going to share that with you. We're also going to hope to talk you into taking the tour of the marble mines because this weekend is Marble Festival, always the first full weekend of October, so don't forget that. And guess what else is happening? October 6th through the 14th, the Georgia Mountain Fair. The Georgia Mountain Fair has been going on for over 70 years. From camping to hanging out, you can stay there for 30 days if you want to rent a spot that long. Music, 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 lots of music, lots of concerts, lots of stuff going on, lots of stuff. Get online and find out about it on October the 21st. The Appalachian Brew and Q and Stew Festival will be going on and they'll have some competition for cooking and that's what we like to cook and we like for folks to say it's good. So, and music, 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 music. So they have camping, they have RV sites. I'm sure most of them are full because that's what they do. They fill up early and just, it's crazy, y'all. It's crazy, but it's the best bargain in Georgia. So again, the Georgia Mountain Fairgrounds, October 16th, 6th through the 14th. Get up there and have a good, good time. Have a good, good time. Also, stop in Cherry Log, because Cherry Log, I can tell you, if you're looking for a good breakfast Saturday morning on your way somewhere else, stop in Cherry Log at their festival. They have the best breakfast, and that's just queuing you up for the lunch they're going to serve you, because it's going to be better than the breakfast. So get out there. That community, every single year, raises money and um, helps their small little community, which still has a lot of poverty going on. Sadly, in today's world, that still happens. Today, we're gonna share some beautiful photos from Fort Mountain. One of the things that Tim and I have enjoyed doing over the years is following a crazy man around with a camera. And the crazy man kind of likes to be followed around with a camera, and so we've done it. Uh, Tim would get in the back of my Suburban, we'd ride through the mountains, we'd video crazy man, and we have lots and lots of footage. I chose some of the best color pictures, and these were done the week of October 22nd. So that tells you right now we're a little bit early for color in the mountains, but we also have some footage that Aaron shot, and it is of the Etowah River, and it is beautiful. It is pristine. It is so pretty. But there's no color at all. It's all green. It's just green because the leaves haven't turned yet. In the next three weeks, I think we will see a difference when the cool temperatures really hit. This weekend, it's supposed to be 55 at night and early morning and 70 for the high. That's just like heaven to me. That is just like heavenly. So maybe this week the leaves will start turning a little bit, but it is a little bit early, just a little bit. So we're going to share some photos. And um, one of the things that I think there's a photo, I don't know if I shared it today or not, but the Halloween festivities in Ball Ground will begin on the 28th of October at the Botanical Garden. And there's going to be a, a really fun, fun day. And it is free to your children. Come and be there. There's going to be all kinds of candy, going to be trunk or treating and have games. And there's free parking and a costume contest. So dress up that baby and that cute little kid as cute as you can and uh, come out with them. And again, this is the Spooktacular at the Garden. It is a free event. It is uh, the Ball Ground Garden Club and the City of Ball Ground have combined their efforts <clears throat> and it's gonna be really, really cool. So come out and do that again. And it is one to four on the 28th of October. So we would love to see y'all there. 
Now, I'm going to beg you to come to Ball Ground and walk up and down the street and take pictures of all the scarecrows and then decide which is your favorite. And I will just say, if I were going to say, well, that's certainly Ball Ground, I would vote for the biscuit maker because the girls at the Shell Station get up early, early every morning and they make lots and lots, lots and lots of biscuits, lots of biscuits. And there's a biscuit maker scarecrow that has white lily flower just like they use. It has Crisco and it has a, a handmade wooden bowl. Now she's pretty authentic looking so I think y'all need to vote for her and you can get on the Ball Ground Garden Club Facebook page but I'm going to have to direct you to which one because they have several and I'm even confused with it. People were asking me last night and I said sugar I can't answer you which one. I don't know. But I think on October the 10th, after everybody has their scarecrows assembled and out, then Evelyn will post the pictures and y'all will vote. But again, I don't know which Facebook page it's going to go to. That's a little confusing. I think one page would be plenty. So hopefully we'll, uh, I'll get all that information for you. But I would love for y'all to vote. ETC has a little scarecrow down there. And of course, we'd love to have you vote for that one too. So ETC and the Biscuit Maker, those would be my choices. But y'all vote for whoever you want to and just go down through town. Some really cool scarecrows. So I think we have a total of 40 that are going to be out there. And um, it is a way to raise money for the garden because everybody who entered had to pay $25 and uh, the money goes to the garden club and that's a cool thing because the garden club is free to you every single day that you want to go if you want to wander through the garden if you want to sit and read if you just want to relax if you want to have your picnic down there it is free to you thanks to the botanical garden and that is something again that the city provided and then a whole bunch of hard-working people make it happen Speaking of hardworking people, you see these apples? There's a few gone from this bag. There's a reason. We've been eating them. They are so good. These are ambrosia apples that came from RNA orchards. They're absolutely fantastic. And I always thought, <coughs> excuse me, I always thought I had a special, an apple that I just loved because I love Granny Smith's. I love the Honeycrisp. I like this one better. I love it. Absolutely love these apples. And again, they're ambrosia. They're only available for about two weeks. So these came from RNA Orchards. There are tons of apple houses here in LJ. We'd love for you to stop by any of those and get to know what they specialize in and what is their little niche. Because everybody has a little niche. One of them does one thing this way, another one does something. And my favorite thing, when I make my world famous chicken salad, it starts with hot pepper jelly from RNA Orchards. So it is so fantastic. And you mix the hot pepper jelly and the cold chicken salad. You put it together. You let it make friends on your sandwich. And then about an hour later, you serve it, and it is yummy. It is delish. So there's, there's, my, there's my recipe that y'all need to try, and maybe I'll put that in the progress next week. Don't forget that weekly I do recipes in the Pickens Progress, and I try to write a little story to go with it. And the story about that is I love hot pepper jelly and I love chicken salad and why in the world wouldn't I put the two things I love the most together? I did and it worked. So there you go. We're going to show you some photos now of um, just fall, just beautiful fall. But first we're going to go to Aaron's footage that he shot on the Etowah River. It's lovely. And uh, yeah, we're, it, is, it is so beautiful. The Etowah River is one of those gifts from God. It's just here, and we get to enjoy it. And when you think about it, we were up in Dahlonega when he shot this footage. From Dahlonega down to Ball Ground to the Bridge, that is the Etowah. Now, when it gets to Ball Ground to the Bridge, I've never seen the water as clear as it is up in Dahlonega. Why is that? Because there are more rocks there to cleanse it? I don't know. But the water looks totally different. When we're in Dahlonega, it just looks like it's a totally different river. And then you get down to Ball Ground, it's a little bit wider, a little bit deeper, and not always as crystal clear. So I'm not sure it's why it's like that. But again, if you're in Ball Ground and your kids like to fish, you can fish down near the bridge. You can walk. You can. There are hiking trails. You can just get out and enjoy. The Etowah is there for your enjoyment. You know what? It's another one of those gifts from God. It just He just keeps on giving, doesn't He? Speaking of giving, you're going to see 
I have a sunrise picture and a sunset picture that I use all the time on my Facebook page. Those are two of the most amazing shots and they were taken right over the hill looking across Farmer's Ridge, looking ac across Sawney Mountain. Just it, it is just absolutely beautiful and it is right downtown ball ground. So in the morning when you get up early, get up at 7.02 and you will see the sunrise. Get up and have your coffee early and just step outside and look for that sunrise. It is amazing and every single day it's almost like a painting that changes because as the year changes and the time changes, then that painting will change. But capture those photos. If you're thinking mm -hmm. about decorating your walls, that's the perfect thing to do it with. So now here we go to the footage of the Etowah and this was done in Lumpkin County. So it is a little bit clearer than it is down in Cherokee County. <laughs> I'm looking down from a hilltop at the lights of my hometown. This place is all so different now. They've closed the pool room down. That old wooden bridge I fished from is replaced with man-made stone. The swimming pool and our old like you, they both are gone Looking back on all the summers Since 1969 Long ago and far away When I thought you were mine For better or worse, thick or thin So much has changed since then My crazy heart spins round and round When I dream of way back when When the rock and roll would play In that old silver Chevrolet And AM rock was all It's all over now, baby Gently from the mountains to the sea And the track that took my dad to war in 1943 Still stretches by the depot like so many years before But like you, the train's on a different track you don't come here no more And the rock and roll would play In that old silver Chevrolet And AM rock was all we knew back then Big brown eyes and short leave eyes
That is beautiful Lumpkin County compliments Aaron and a drone. And that's what you do. In today's technology, you don't just get a camera, you get a drone. And you get out and you capture the moment. You capture the beauty of these mountains and there's no better way to see it than the way y'all just saw it. And guess what? You got to hear a special bonus. You got to hear a song from that crazy man, Mr. LJ. That's why these apples are sitting here, because of that crazy man. Okay, we're going to share some photos with y'all. And I chose stuff off Fort Mountain because I bet you there are a whole bunch of people who watch us who have never crossed Fort Mountain in the fall. And I will tell you, and I always say this, you can go, you can start in Murray County and come this way. Murray County side is not nah as pretty as Gilmer County side. When you get to Gilmer County, there's something about the way the temperature changes right there at the top. It is absolutely breathtaking. It is so beautiful. If you haven't been to Fort Mountain and you haven't gone down the park, now this is uh, something else we're going to share today, and this is fall at Pruitt Healthcare in Jasper. And today we're going to be we're going to be focusing on a gentleman that um, you met a while back. He has just celebrated another birthday. He has made another trip around the sun. This gentleman was born in Smoky Holler, right next door to the Marble Mansion in Tate. And um, his family was involved with working for the Tate family. And Mr. Truman Roach was born right there. And we are going to honor him again today. He has made it another birthday. Last year when I interviewed him, he was fighting COVID. He had been very sick, but he, you know, he's still here. Isn't this amazing? And he is one of the last residents who was born at Smoky Holler. And um, what a joy to get to spend time with him and to precious Donna. And Donna, her mom and dad, Dr. Tom and uh, Ms. Boswell, those are her parents. Truman's beautiful wife, Essie, worked for the Boswell family and worked for my mama. And so we grew up with Essie's cooking and Essie's biscuits and Essie's great, Essie's great food. And see that, y'all? I did that because of that basket. Look at that basket. That is my first grandchild many, many, many years ago. That's Christy in a cotton basket. How many of y'all have ever picked cotton? We were talking about it the other day and how everybody, you know, all this racial issue here and racial issue there. No, our family was so poor. Our family didn't plant cotton. They picked cotton and that was a cotton basket that uh, had been in the family a long time and it's a really cool basket. Now that is precious little Riker in the pumpkin patch. So it is pumpkin patch time. Get your children out. The best day to go to Burt's, I would think, would be on a Tuesday or Wednesday. I wouldn't think it would be. I don't even know if they're up on Tuesday or Wednesday, but I'd choose any day except Saturday because it is so crazy busy. Now, this is a top Fort Mountain. All of this is there for you to see, to enjoy, to picnic, to just hang out and have a really beautiful time. And this was done around October the 22nd, so... The leaves are beginning to turn there, not as vibrant as they get a little bit later. But on the 22nd, there was color, and isn't that just gorgeous? And that is the calmest, coolest lake, and uh, that was what we were doing. We were following the crazy man around, getting footage for the videos that will be produced when he finishes the music he's working on now. So, so Tim's doing his thing, and I'm doing my thing, and we're putting it all together, and we're going to make videos for y'all that you will, uh, it will feature that crazy truck that he loves, 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 and that wild man. So when the music is ready, you will know it. And uh, Tim is doing his magic, putting everything together and making y'all some really cool DVDs. But get out today. Today is a beautiful day before all the crowds come tomorrow because you know, I don't even have to warn y'all, tomorrow is going to be Apple Day. Everybody's going to be headed to the Apple houses. But today, y'all could get out and enjoy the mountains, enjoy the beautiful communities that we serve and do it do it on a day like today before everybody finds out it's friday so just get out there and enjoy it and do it and if you haven't been to chatsworth again you need to check out the chief van house because that is so well worth the trip and uh you just fort mountain it's free chief van house it doesn't cost much and i'll be darn there's my favorite color flowers and in the fall they're always my favorite color flowers so yellow is the color yellow and orange and red together the best and those talk about a memory those rocks have been put somewhere and i don't know where they were put and i have to find out because those rocks were stacked many 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 years ago 
by the farmer family and um, now that Farmers Crossing is coming to be and everything is changing, it's going to be amazing if we can get those rocks incorporated into something. So, and this, I always talk about antiques and how much I love antiques. That trunk is my granddaddy's. My granddaddy left home with that trunk when he was 17 years old. I still have it today. It is still the coffee table in the living room. That table that you see sitting over there, my grandmother, it's solid walnut. My grandmother bought that table for 50 cents, 50 cents. Now that is one of my favorite shots. I love that. That is here in Gilmer County. And that's what you can do with your phone, with your camera, get out and capture the moment. And then you can, you know, why go out and buy a painting when you could print that? and have it matted and have a beautiful photo. And we all know who that crazy man is, you know. Who is that? Who is that, guys? That's, that's that old Apple man, so. But he is getting ready to uh, produce some really cool stuff for y'all. He's excited about it. Now those, as a child, my grandmother always had colias, and I love colias. They're still one of my favorite flowers. And I've seen some people this year that had massive, huge colias. They were just beautiful. Remember when the fall flowers die, you can always plant that winter cabbage and you can plant some winter pansies and don't give up. That table is Miss Maggie Johnson's table from Whitestone and uh, that table is over 100 years old and uh, probably one of my pride and joys. Yeah, I love that table. It's one of those things when you look around your life, think of the treasures and think of the people and associate with them. Now that's a recipe that's gonna be in the progress very, very soon. That is gumbo. And Lucy and I made gumbo quite often. And sometimes we would do it with shrimp and chicken. Sometimes we would just do it with chicken. Love gumbo. It is full of antioxidants. It has onions, peppers, okra, and then whatever um, meat you wanna put in it. And that, those old wheels belong to Calvin Farmer. So isn't that the coolest thing? And that old bucket actually came out of the old home place. So that's really cool. Take your family memories and do something neat with them. And that one, I don't know how that got in there. It wasn't supposed to. But anyway, that's the day that I fell and ended up in the back of an ambulance. And uh, that was a rough day in my life. And uh, my life kind of ended for a short time in that ambulance. And then I came back. And it was very, very strange, but uh, God has a perfect plan, and we just have to say, okay, Lord, I got your sense of humor, and here we are. Here we are. Now, here we are sharing, once again, the life of Truman Roach. Truman grew up in Pickens County. He was born right beside the Tate, the beautiful mansion. He worked for the Tate family for a long, long time. His family was part of what made Smokey Holler so amazing. The good, the scents coming from the kitchen in that holler, the barbecue cooking, the amazing work and craftsmanship of the folks who worked very, very hard and lived in those small little cabins. So we're gonna share about 18 to 20 minutes of Truman Roach, and he's gonna talk a little bit about what it was like growing up during the, that era, you think about it, he's, golly, almost 100 years old now. I mean, he's in his 90s, and you just think about how fast time has gone and how much it's changed, and we're going to talk to him a little bit about that. So here we go. Welcome to Jasper, Georgia and Pruitt Healthcare. We are here interviewing a wonderful gentleman that I have known. Actually, he may not remember this, but I was a 17 year old hottie the first time I met him because his wife worked for my mama when I was a teenager. So Mr. Roach, can you tell me a little bit about your life? I understand we're gonna be talking about second wind dreams at this age of your life. Are you looking for a dream today? Yes, you're going to have a yeah, difficult about it. I can't hear good and uh, you have to talk a little louder. So I can hear some of the words you say, but... Can you tell me a little bit about your life? About my life? Mm-hmm. Can you do that? I can tell you a little bit about my life. 
Would you do that, please? I was born in Cape Georgia. Uh huh. At, next to the the Tate House, they call it now. Mm hmm. In nineteen and twenty nine. Nineteen twenty nine. Wow, you're a little older than me, just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> now, tell me what you did for a living. What did you do? How did you earn wages? What I do for a living. I first lived in the first for a living. The first uh, I, I worked. With the George Marble. Mm -hmm. About, I say, 20 years of a little longer. And then Ben has got a little dull and I wanted to transfer, so I got me another job mm -hmm. with J.E. Lovett Construction out of Smyrna. I stayed with him about, oh, about 20 years, 20 years. Does that mean you get bored after 20 years? You didn't huh? change, do you get bored after 20 years? You change the job every no, 20 because, years? No, <laughs> because uh, the job we had, I was helping uh, lots of people. That's what I wanted to do in my lifetime, to help and, and get help and be here. Mm -hmm. So my job was with uh, with J. E. Levin was uh, 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 making a, 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 a sewer line. Oh wow! And that was most important job for people log logging in. Mm -hmm. and some people that uh, when I lived at Tay Tay. I mean, I was doing right. We didn't have no bathroom. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And I want to zero in on your shirt because that says Smoky Holler, and I still go through Smoky Holler every week. I drive through there, and there's only one house left. Yeah. There's one house left at Smoky Holler now. One house left at Smoky Holler. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But let me tell you about the house. I, I was born in, and this is the last. Uh-huh. That's the house before you, right before you get to uh, the Tate house, mm -hmm. the big house. Mm -hmm. I look, it's a, I, it was green, but I forgot what color it is now. And they, and they, they use that house for the office for the green house, mm -hmm. for the big house. Right, right. And, Gone, gone in Smoky Hollow. There's one house left there. It used to be full of Smoky Hollow. If, if, if I could go in Smoky Hollow, I'd show you where I used to live. Mm -hmm. And where I used to live is that house that lived in, that stays there, it's still there now, is right straight across the road from where I used to live. Mm -hmm. And that house, I think it's my niece lives there now. Mm -hmm. What about the old church on top of the hill in Smoky Holler? What happened to that church? It's not That church is like the behavior. They have fair land down there. They haven't been used in about, oh, five or six years, or longer than that. Mm -hmm. I like the history of it, it's still, it's still there. Mm -hmm. And that was a Methodist church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I forgot the name of it. I, one thing about me, uh, uh, I can remember the, the people, but I can't I remember the name. The name. Mm -hmm. But if I see them, I know about them. But I've got the name of the preacher that was there. I sure do. Do you remember Emily Green? Do you remember Emily Green? From Emily Smoky Green. Mm -hmm. She married to Bridges. Do you remember Emily? She oh. became Emily Bridges. Oh, you talking about Emily Green? 
I have a aunt. I had an auntie named uh, Emma Green, uh-huh. and uh, my auntie had a, a a first cousin. Uh, he's a, a, a Carl Green, and Carl Green had a daughter named Emily Green. She was my dear, dear friend for I many years. I remember her. I know it. Yeah. <clears throat> we were long, long time friends, many years. Yep. There's a lot of green, yeah. Cause my mother was a green too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, I can remember driving through Smoky Holler, and there were houses on both sides of the road. Hardworking people who went home to the holler every night and didn't ask for much, yeah. and uh, worked hard to take care of their families. Emily and I sat in the creek in Smoky Holler, and we might have drunk a little Boone's Farm wine, but don't tell anybody. Shh, don't tell anybody that Emily and I might have had a drink or two. That was many, many years ago. Many years ago. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Now, do you remember things in the holler that were um, dates, times? Do you remember when you got electricity in the holler? Remember what now? When you got electricity in the holler, do you remember when electricity came? Yes. Yeah. What was that like to get electricity? Uh, what was the what? To get electricity, to get power to your house, to have lights on. Yeah. Uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, 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 Steve Tate got the. Uh, he got the lights for all around, all around, all around, all around Tate. He was, a, I don't know, it a, had something to do with, we call it then the REA. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Rural electricity. I believe, I mean, I'm, I'm not, I might be mistaken about that. Around 40. Mm-hmm. Yep. When we first got lights. Right. Did you ever have indoor plumbing at the holler? In what? Did you have indoor plumbing at Smoky Holler? Indoor plumbing? Did you indoor. have indoor plumbing? Did you have water coming into the house? In the holler? No. Nobody didn't have no running water but the the one I was really born in because the tape we live next to the tanks there, and, mm-hmm. and the big house, we were right next to it, because my father was a cook for him. And uh, we were the only one that had uh, lights. Wow, wow. What a memory. Can we talk about your wife? Can you my tell wife, me a little bit about Essie your wife? May. Essie May. Yes, my wife, she's from a, a they call that little place Deep Ship. That was a place that uh, between Millersville and Sansonville. Mm-hmm. So she had pretty skin folks in a and tape. Yeah, mm-hmm. they came mm-hmm. down there, and so I met her. She in, she has left home from there. Yeah, was working in Atlanta. And every Christmas, before Christmas, you used to go down to Atlanta, me and three or four more boys, uh, you know, they, uh, get our, uh, our, our Christmas liquor. Uh-oh. We had to go all the way to Atlanta to <laughs> get our Christmas liquor. So, uh, one of the leaders, as my brother-in-law now, and he was then, uh, he had a first cousin that uh, it was Essie, and he told his mother, his mother was uh, Essie's auntie. Mm-hmm. She told leave me and I, he wanted to go, go by and see her. So he did. She told, he told, she told him. As she coming up to see uh, Auntie right after Christmas and look for, her. and so she did. And I met up with her down there. I was in 
the hey, Christmas uh, in 49. Mm -hmm. So she came up that second day after, after, uh, after, after, uh, it was 1950. Mm -hmm. So I, hey. That was 72 years I ago. I got acquainted with her and uh, we got married in 51. And, oh boy. You the had best a, cook. You had the best cook in yeah. North Georgia. So Didn't know you that had the right. best cook in North Georgia. Everybody <laughs> they ate a cook and said they have the, the best. Food. The best. That's one of them. The best. <laughs> the, <taste>. the best. <laughs> she was something else. She's a really good cook. Right. Right. Do you have children? Children. Mm hmm No, uh uh. I have a nephew that we raised, mm -hmm. and we call him our son. Mm -hmm. He thought that we were all of us. He, and when he when she went and got him, he was a little sick. She, she couldn't have no children. Yeah. And uh, were you was, in the military? Huh? Were you were you in the military? Me? Were you in the military? Me? Yes, sir. No. 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 Uh -uh. No. No. So your life has been spent in Jasper, Georgia, from Smoky Holler. Well, he, uh, went, he, he went. To, he went to college for a while. Where did you go to college? Where did you go to college? Oh, I went to college and started in '47. I didn't. I, I didn't go for two years. Mm -hmm. I was in Fort Valley. Mm -hmm. I stayed there two years, like you did. Fort Valley's known for peaches, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yes. That's peach candy. That's peaches and peaches and peaches. Oh, That's yeah. right. Lots That's right. That's right. Well, you had a wish that you wanted to go back and see your old home place down in Tate. Have you been allowed to do that? At what? Have you seen the home in Tate where you were born lately? Were you able to do that? That has, uh -huh. oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, I forget the lady name. She's from somewhere up here in North Georgia. I haven't got that in there. What's the name of that? But she, uh, she got interested in singing and going to church. So she had we had an interview with her. So, and I was singing there. Mm -hmm. We had who the Mount Carey. I remember. I remember. Trio. I remember well. Remember? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. And so, uh, that heaven. Mm -hmm. We need some footage of Mount Calvary trees. They got that us is on his wish is to go back to yeah. church yeah. there, yeah. so we're going to get him. Okay. We had a Pokemon. Right. right. I'm going to get the footage from that. We're going to use it in this. I'll, I'll get that footage. I've got some video on my, okay. on my camera. Good, good. And it seemed like all the white and black churches in the hall, in the, not hall, but in North Joy, he wanted to sing. We, we visited all them churches. I know. Sing. Yeah. And they loved it, and I loved it. Too. Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you what I loved. I loved vis visiting the church down by Head Start and having a meal there because that's some of the best food in the world. You should go to their but reunion the best once food, a year. I went once a year, yeah, oh. I went, and it was awesome. Yeah. Now, um, where you are now, you're at Pruitt Health Center here in Jasper. Hey, pardon? Remember, we're at Pruitt Health Center here in Jasper. So you're in Jasper, where you've been for many, many years. How many years, how old are you now? I remember live, I've been living in Jasper. Uh-huh. Uh, <coughs> and it's just, uh, uh, I moved to Jess. From Tate. From Tate, yeah. You moved five miles. Uh, from, uh, from Tate. Mm -hmm. Uh, living in Tate, living in the projects then. You don't remember, but I came to visit you and Essie in the projects. Yeah. I was skinnier and younger. That's why you don't remember. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I did. I came yeah. to visit y'all. 
I sure did when she was still living. So, well, is there anything you haven't accomplished in life that you wish you had accomplished? I've accomplished. Is there anything you wish you could have done that you didn't get to do? <laughs> You've sung for I, hundreds I, of people. I, I, I covered everything I wanted, and I was satisfied. Good. I didn't want to leave tape and no kind of read everybody, you know, was, like I was, and had a little education, want to go to the big cities. Mm -hmm. But I, I did not, I did not, I want to stay in tape with a little, little where you be more, Comfortable mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and have to live a life uh, like the city did. Right. I'm just just what I am. And, country boy. And, and Are you no a country more. boy? I didn't want to get add or uh, subtract. Mm -hmm. I'm just the same every day. Yep. I love That's it. That's what I want to live. I live that life. Let me ask I you know. something. Do you remember Valpo Smith? Oh, Lord, yeah. Was he not a precious, precious man? Yes. Such yes. a precious, yeah. precious man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think after Valpo, you're the last, uh, you're the last of the good ones. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yep. Yes, yeah, he married a, a Colin. He did. Emma Julia. Emma Julia. Yes. Emma Julia. Yes, he sure did. Emma Julia was like your sweet, she yeah, was a she jewel. Was. Was. Yes, mm -hmm. absolute jewel. Well, thank you so much for talking to me today, and I hope that you have a really, really good afternoon. You know, we're in the fall season, and the leaves are beautiful, so maybe they'll get, a, get you out and take you for a ride and let you enjoy the beautiful winters and the beautiful fall here in North Georgia. Oh, yeah, you're quite welcome. Thank you for visiting with me. You're welcome. You had a sweet mother, too. I had an angel of a mother. Angel. Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ, how may I serve you? The mountains are calling and they're closer than you think. Farmers Crossing in Ballground offers creekside lots with homes beginning in the 400s. Walking distance to downtown shopping, dining, tennis courts, Calvin Farmer Park and local events. It also includes a beautiful hike to Long Swamp Creek. Leave the car and the worries behind. Move in by fall 2023. Call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. Hi, I'm Ryan Blaney, a third generation race car driver. And we dedicate a lot of our time to going as fast as possible. But when my grandpa was diagnosed with Alzheimer's, it was a very unexpected bump in the road for us. It's important to notice if older family members are acting differently, experiencing problems with their memory, or having trouble with routine tasks. Early detection of Alzheimer's can give your family time to explore support services, make a plan for the future, and access available treatments. If you or your family are noticing changes, it could be Alzheimer's. Talk about seeing a doctor together. The ETC Game of the Week is back again this football season. Watch your local teams go head-to-head -head each week only on ETC TV3.
Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow. Whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. Y'all, there is no way I could sit here between these apples and not eat my apple. I'm sorry. <laughs> It is so good. It is so good. These are ambrosia. They are crisp. They are cool. They are so good. And I love them. I think you can cook with these. I think you can just snack on these. I think they're amazing apples. So these two bags are going with me. All right. We're going to take you about a year and a half ago. Uh, I heard tell of the music of a crazy man. Mr. Ella J started writing songs about these mountains a long time ago. He continues to write songs about these mountains, and we're going to share a little bit. In my opinion, I've heard a lot of his stuff, and I've seen some stuff he did that I was like, wow, that's pretty awesome, but nothing, nothing really made me say, yeah, that's a good one. Like this song, this is, I guess you'd say this is my anthem. Here we go. <laughs> Up needs repair. The LP tanks on zero, and my wheel is almost there. The hope I had left with you when you walked out the door. I would say things can't get worse, but I've been. Employees by the 
It is Apple Country. It is time to say welcome to the mountains of North Georgia. The Fall Festival at Georgia Mountain Fairgrounds starts today. And I want to go over the rundown with you. Mark Chestnut will be in concert today. Tomorrow, the ticket that isn't included with the um, show will be Jody Messina. And that is, um, those are extra price tickets. But on, on Monday, this will be the day I would want to go. Monday. Diamond Rio will be there. That will be awesome. But my favorite day ever at this gospel festival, at this fall festival, is Gospel Sunday. They always outdo themselves. And the Troy Burns family, Jason Crabb, and the Booth brothers will be there on Sunday. So make plans to be at the Georgia Mountain Fair Fairgrounds for the fall festival on Sunday. It is going to be amazing. Then on Wednesday, the Bellamy Brothers will be there. On Tuesday, the Traveling McCurries will be there. And the 12th, Ronnie McDowell will be there. And Shenandoah will be there on Friday the 13th. And then the big concert that isn't included in the fair, um, it is those, those tickets are, I don't know if there are any left or not, but you can check with the Georgia Mountain Fairgrounds and find out this is the best bargain in Georgia. You pay your entry fee, it's 10 or $12, you get in and it includes parking, it includes the concerts that are in the music hall except for the special Jody Messina and Trace Atkins. Those are, are different price tickets, but it is the best bargain in Georgia. It has been going on for over 70 years and we would love to welcome you to, to Blairsville, to Hiawassee, to Young Harris, to Fannin County, stop in Morganton. Get to know all of the tiny towns that we serve. And again, this is, this is the big money maker for the state of Georgia. It brings a lot of tourists in. It brings a lot of people who finally decide, I think I love Georgia enough, I'm gonna buy a second home there. And I wanna show a little bit of footage of an entryway to a property in Ball Ground that we are gonna be marketing in the very, very near future. It's gonna be a gated community walking distance to downtown Ball Ground. We've estimated how many steps it is to Ball Ground. I don't think it's even a thousand steps up to downtown to the main street. So it's gonna be very, very interesting. But we're gonna share that footage and, and just show you. It shows Calvin Farmer Park. So with living in downtown Ball Ground, you get the use of this beautiful park they have a soccer field where kids are going to be doing soccer practices. They have a pond where the kids can hang out with the ducks. They have a playground where the kids can play. And it is all about those, it, it's just the convenience, the convenience of just getting off 5, 575. I keep remembering it changes from 515 at Nelson and becomes 575, but you exit Howell Bridge. You come to downtown ball ground, you take one turn to the left and you go out there, not even a tenth of a mile, and that will be Malone's Pond. And it's gonna be very, very exciting. Can we pull that footage up and show that that Tim sent? It's just, there you go. 
tree. It's definitely not finished yet, but they are in the works and uh, it is going to be absolutely beautiful. And this truly is about a thousand steps to downtown ball ground. And you see Calvin Farmer Park as you exit the property. It will be a gated community with total privacy and it's going to be really, really cool. So it is one of those things that you will just absolutely have to get to know the, the town of Ball Ground is growing, and our mayor says it best, if you don't grow, you will die. And um, planned growth and amazing growth, it is going to be so cool to be able to build your home and to walk to downtown Ball Ground. That's part of the deal, and it is, uh, it's going to be amazing. And we are so honored because Bircher Homes is the chosen builder. Bircher Homes doesn't just build a home, it's a lifestyle, and it is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful. What they do is above, it, it is amazing. So I'm so excited to be able to share that with y'all, and hope in the near future you will come and visit and get to know the tiny town that we serve, you know, from Ball Ground to Turtle Town to Talking Rock to Ella J to Whitestone, all these little communities. When we think about all the places that have put us on the map, um, Look at Biggins Barbecue. How many people eat there every day and they say, we're going to eat there, we're going to eat there. It's their destination of choice. That's so awesome that people choose to come to your restaurant, to here at Mike's LJ restaurant. There's so many places where people say, we come here every single year. Every time we go to buy, buy apples, we go to that place and eat. So make your mark in the community. Put your best foot forward and say, welcome, you tourist, and welcome back again. And please get out this weekend and go to the Georgia Mountain Fair. It is going to be amazing. The fall festival is the best time of the year to be in these mountains. And it will be, there's so much stuff to do, arts and crafts and sales and just learning. There'll be a blacksmith shop. So much stuff for your children to learn about the way we used to live our lives. And I think it's very, very important that we, we remember, we preserve that past. And uh, remember we are embracing the future and preserving the past and it's very, very important. I hope you have something planned great for the weekend. Please stop by our office in Ball Ground on Saturday. We will have some peach cobbler and ice cream for you. And we will have some of these wonderful apples for you from RNA Orchards. And we would love to tell you how to get up here to LJ and buy your own apples. So I'll see you again soon, only on ETC.